This is likely the last time these Tosai Kohakus will be fed in this mud pond. It's early November now, the weather's acting more and more like winter, and it's time to finish up my harvesting here. These Kohakus were all born six months ago in May. This is a grow out pond for Nisai, or koi that were 12 months old at the beginning of the summer. As I pump the water down, they cruise around the perimeter to see what's going on. These koi went in as 8 to 10 inch 1 year olds and are now 16 to 20 inches at 18 months old. It's hard for some hobbyists new to koi to grasp what they should be seeing on high quality koi at this age. These flowers truly are just beginning to blossom. They have a long road of development ahead. So many subtle changes and refinements to take place. These koi have a good start though. They've passed many evaluations and are beginning to show their incredible future potential. For some reason, the rubber boots, white socks, and neon green swim trunks look hasn't caught on yet in mainstream. Notice how calm these koi are. It's almost as if they know the routine.
I look over each one closely. I want to see how they're developing. I know what parent set each fish came from and the characteristics they've inherited or not mean a lot to my breeding program. Just coming out of the mud, a koi skin has an interesting combination of characteristics. It has a shine or a glow of youth and good health, but it can also have an earthy or muddy look, causing the whites, faces, fins to have a brownish hue. For those who haven't seen the full cycle, this can be confusing. Let's take a look at how some of these koi have changed or matured over the summer. Take a good look at this showa. And now look through this tub of tosai and find it, as it looked six months ago. Here it is. Did you get it right? Let's try another one. Look the show over for a few seconds and pick it out of the tub from six months ago. This one should be an easy one. The heat pattern on the head is distinctive, and the type of sumi this showa has doesn't change dramatically as the koi grows. Watch this show up for a while, and in a minute, choose it from the bowl of tosai six months ago. Okay, can you choose the show we watched from this tub? Here it is. Watch the dramatic change and impact the Sumi has made on this one. An interesting and unusual look for sure. Not a Showa for the show ring. This is another show with a type of sumi that's more predictable. Can you pick it out of this bowl of tosai from six months ago?
Here it is. Watch the Maduguru on the packs. Can you choose this Kohaku as it looked six months earlier? It's this one. This is an example of how muddy the white can look on a fish just harvested. Here's a look at the same Kohaku after it's been in filtered water for just a few weeks. Quite a difference. Here's what it looked like as toe side. And here's what it looks like now. Notice the sharpness of Kiwa and how thin and clean the sashi is. Here is the Moritan Sanke we looked at earlier as Tosai in issue number 8 also. This is what it looked like then. and how it looks now at the end of the summer. Growing well and developing slowly, just what I want to see in a high quality koi. After harvest, these nisai are all treated for parasites and basically watched for a few days to see how they're acting. Later, I move on to harvesting other ponds. My friend Chuck makes the two hour drive out to help me bring some of the older females up. Only confirmed females over 24 months old go into this mud pond. Chuck's an excellent fish handler, and I trust him completely with my fish. Let's look at how some of these have matured over the summer. 
Watch how the heat plate thickens. As if extra layers of paint were rolled on over the summer. This is a natural slow maturing that happens in high quality fish. The quality of red should be the same on the tail area as it is on the shoulder. One by one, they come up to greet us. The sumi is slowly emerging in the right places. I expect the two dots of Benny to eventually connect to the patterning here. Let's watch this sake's progress over the past couple of years. Slow and very positive progress. Koi keeping requires such patience, and it teaches patience.
<laughs> Chuck's a real trooper. I gave him the boots with the holes in them. He does all the hard work, and he even brought the beer. And he never complained once all day. This Kohaku has been a real pleasure to watch grow and develop. It'll stay with me another year, then go out to its owner in the Midwest. Here is how she's progressed. Watch the Benny and the pecs recede as she grows. When we have patience and an open mind, and we can enjoy our koi each day for how they look that day, the journey is so much more rewarding. High quality koi will show us what they have in time. I almost wrote this girl off as a loss. We searched and searched the pond and she was nowhere to be found. After several very foul words and draining the pond some more, she appeared. Here's a look at her over the past couple of years. Not a bad way to spend the day.